All right, another day and some more fighters have been uh, deposed and also some more fighters have been uh, have managed to garner themselves medals in spite of, um, of course, not quite making it to the finals. And, and I am speaking of the heavyweight division where Rustam Tulaganov of Uzbekistan and Ereslandi Savon of Cuba managed to win bronze medals. Uh, unfortunately, both of them were eliminated here in the semifinals today, uh, but they did an excellent job throughout these Olympics. Um, I'll get to to Laganov first. Um, you know, he had a he had a pretty solid, um, pretty solid going of things. Won his first fight in the round of 16 against Julio Cesar Castillo of Ecuador. Wound up coming up against Abdul Kadir Abdulayev of Azerbaijan, and of course today wound up. Uh, on the, the bad end of a decision uh, against Yevgeny Tyschenko of Russia. Um, first two fights that I mentioned, uh, he did a pretty good job. He controlled the action for the most part, um, was able to control inside, outside. With Tyschenko, he put up an excellent fight, um, was able to close the distance um, at certain points in the fight, but overall, Tyschenko, is, he's a very big, very tall guy for the weight class. Uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that you could very easily see uh, competing at heavyweight in the pros, and by heavyweight I mean the 200 plus pound realm, as opposed to the cruiserweight division, which is ostensibly what uh, heavyweight in the amateurs is, what heavyweight in the Olympics is. But otherwise, I mean, Tulaganov put up a good effort. Uh, you know, he possibly had a little bit of wear and tear from the first couple of fights. He has a very aggressive, very physical style. Um, was able to physically put it on Tishchenko a little bit here and there, but Tishchenko is a you know he's a very big very strong very tall fighter got power in both hands and you know he kind of put hands on Tulaganov a little bit and Tulaganov um, unfortunately in spite of the fact that he was able to control and uh, cleanly win his uh, first two fights against Tyshenko was just a little bit too much um, Tyshenko won uh, pretty clearly you could have scored it maybe two to one or three to zero for Tyshenko it wound up being a unanimous decision for Tyshenko uh, but Tulaganov overall did an excellent job, um, managed to earn that bronze with uh, you know, every bit of what he put into his fights. Uh, as for Arislan Savon of Cuba, he, he, like, uh, um, he like Tulaganov had a first round bye, wound up fighting against Lawrence Okoye of Great Britain in his first fight in the round of 16. Uh, did a very good job um, of you know, pretty cleanly outboxing and being able to kind of rough up Okoye a little bit. Okoye has got a pretty awkward style, however, but um, in spite of that, Savon was able to uh, outbox him, stayed calm, stayed cool, stayed collected, and didn't allow for Okoye's awkward rhythm and uh, power to really make itself be known. Uh, Savon was the one that was really landing the power shots, the clean, effective shots in that fight. In his second fight against Yama Peralta of Argentina, um, another good display from Savon. Uh, Peralta was uh, trying to get on the inside a little bit. Um, touched Savon up a, a good little bit, but overall Savon was once again able to land the cleaner, more effective shots. Um, of course, he got a, a, a wide uh, array of applause and roars from the crowd, from the, the pro Brasilia, uh anti-Argentina crowd because Yama Peralta was from Argentina. So Savon was getting a little bit of fanfare from that. And finally, going into the semifinals, fought, fought against uh, Vasily Levit of Kazakhstan, a guy that's um, been a bit of a, a high achiever in these games. You know, did, scored a, a brutal knockout over Yu Fengkai of China in his first fight and um, continued his winning ways in his second fight against Kennedy St. Pierre of Mauritius. And uh, but up against uh, Arislani Savon, just made it a physical, brutal, uh, very task heavy fight. For, for Arslandi Savon. You know, Savon really didn't have a lot of time to kind of stick and move as he likes to do and uh, box at distance, at range. Uh, Vasily Levitt closed the distance very quickly, uh, roughed Savon up. Still a close fight all the way through. All three rounds, I thought, were extremely close. I, you could have given any one of the three rounds to either of the fighters. I think uh, Vasily Levitt possibly won the last round a uh, bit more clearly than the first two hours. It seemed like Savon's... Savon uh, was a little bit worn down just by the overall pace that Vasily Levitt uh, put on him. You know, he just set a very high pace, um, high action, high contact. And uh, Savon, you know, being a bit more of a finesse fighter by and large, um, in spite of the fact that he has big power of his own, uh, just uh, wasn't quite 
up to the task of um, being able to clearly beat Levitt the way he had done uh, previously. Le Levitt managed to get a unanimous decision over Edison and Savon, and he, of course, um, managed to uh, advance now to the finals where he's going to be fighting Yevgeny Tyshenko of Russia. It's going to be Monday afternoon when they have the gold medal match. But uh, as I mentioned before, this, uh, this video was to be about the bronze medalist Rustam Tulaganov and Elsani Savon. You know, the, unfortunately for Savon, this is a little bit of a letdown for these Olympics after he had previously also got a bronze. Was it a bronze? I believe it was a bronze in the um, 2012 Olympics when uh, Anthony Joshua managed to defeat him on his way to getting his gold medal. Uh, a lot of people thought that Savon should have won that fight. And, I mean, to a certain degree, you could say that uh, the same for this fight with uh, Vasily Levitt. Um, two close fights, uh, two tough, uh, close losses for Savon, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, Tulaganov managed to pull off um, some, some pretty good victories on his way to getting his own bronze. Um, so for Savon, it's a little bit tougher, you know, being in Cuba and uh, a lot of the, the economic issues, political issues in terms of his potential for turning pro. It's more likely uh, that he's going to stay in as a part of uh, Cuba's illustrious uh, amateur boxing system and uh, continue to try and uh, provide excellence, you know, great boxing action um, in the AIBA World Championships and possibly, you know, in the 2020 Olympics even. Uh, for Tulaganov, um, it's looking like his pro prospects may be a little bit brighter. Uh, tough, strong, heavyweight uh, guy that can close distance on you a little bit more of an action heavyweight, not necessarily a guy that sits back and uh, just uh, throws um, single shots at a time. He can do that, however, as well. But um, he, he's a guy that has some pretty good combination punching uh, as well as some good um, ability to box you on the outside. Uh, but just two very good performances, um, or two very good performers overall in these Olympics between uh, Tulaganov and Arislandi Savon. And that's pretty much it for this one. Um, of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated with all of the medal winners and the medal matches. Uh, Vasily Levitt versus Yevgeny Tyshenko, as I mentioned before, going to be coming on Monday for the gold medal. It's going to be really a fun fight, I think. Uh, Tyshenko has been shown to be able to be drawn into a war before. Uh, Vasily Levitt is more than happy to draw you into a war. And uh, I think um, he's very much up to the task of uh, making it just a, a brutal inside fight in spite of the fact that Tyshenko's uh, leverage and his abilities, uh, his uh, advan advantages uh, tend to be a little bit more on the outside. But just um, solid fights all the way around, solid performances from Tulaganov and Salvon. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.